Rustiden, Rustiden, Rust, Rustiden, Rustiden. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a couple months. Life was busy and a little bit crazy, but in a good way. I've been coordinating events. I've been traveling. I went to Sedona. Oh, that was amazing, and I can't wait to go back. And I think I'm gonna upload a video of the clips I took there. If you wanna see that, let me know. In today's video, my dear friend, Lisa from Norway, she's also known as Purple Haired Lass, she and I decided to do an exchange and we're doing kind of like gifts uh, from our area and like our culture and things like that. So I thought that was really cool. I'm really excited to dive in and if you are not already subscribed to her channel, you can check out her video below. I'll have the link there. And make sure you subscribe. She is such a sweet person. She's so genuine and she's such a, a dear soul. Um, I'm really happy that I've met her on YouTube. And she's been really very supportive of my channel for the last, I want to say like three or four years. I really appreciate her. So thank you, Lisa, for doing this swap with me. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'm pretty like 500% certain that I'm gonna love everything in this box because I took a sneak peek and um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. This card, you can see that. It says her information on it. It says, keep walking soft good. I'm more woman than you can handle. I'm gonna read this. Part of a tradition called, I'm probably gonna butcher this, but Rusatiden, Rusatiden? Yeah. So it's two weeks before 17th of May, and it's only for students who are graduating school. There is a lot of drinking involved, and some people even spend tons of money on buses, which they then decorate and party in. I was what they call a tame Russ, because I didn't really participate a lot, but I had fun nonetheless. The Russ comes in several colors, depending on which studies you take. I should have been black, but on the school I went to, maritime subjects went blue instead. So she's got a blue one, but that's really cool. I like that. Let me know how to say that. Oh, check these out. These are so pretty. These are like the most beautiful mittens I've ever seen. I'm not even kidding. Like they are so pretty and she made these, she knitted them. They're called, I can't, I can't say that word, but the first part means heart. And then the other is a piece of jewelry. It's kind of brooch, only prettier and more formal. But look at this. Like, do you see this design? Like, that is so freaking pretty. I love these. I, I mean, I, I'm bummed that winter's over that I can't wear them now. But we still do have cold days here. So I'm going to keep these handy because they are awesome. And the, like, they're like the perfect size for my hands too. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Socks which are really cute. And I wonder, did you, Lisa, did you make these too? Cause these are really neat. They look super warm and cozy and I always seem to have cold feet. I'm a kind of person, I don't like to wear shoes or socks, but my feet are usually cold. So these are gonna be awesome to walk around the house in. I don't know, they're kind of like too pretty to even wear, but they are really cute. I love the colors too, it's really fun. They're so vibrant and like, ha they make me happy. Like they look like something like super professional. Like I could never, I could never do that. So that is really cool, Lisa. You are amazing. I love those. A comic book. And she says, I won't understand, but there's pictures and it's, it's funny. I'll have to translate it and read it. And honestly, I don't know that I've ever owned a comic book. So this is really cool. Thank you. Something about Berlin. So again, there's there's the comic book. Is that Pondas? Pondas? Eddie Gare e Kriegen. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I've, I gotta stop. I gotta stop trying because I know I'm saying things wrong. She threw in candy and potato chips, and it's really funny. Her and I were definitely on the same page with the snacks. We have these, which. I can't even read that. It's like cream fresha, fresha midsmack. I don't know what that means, but they look really good. I'm thinking it's like sour cream and onion kind of thing. And they look amazing. These ones too. And let's see, God chips. So all oh, it has mild and then 
mild medium. I'm guessing that's like the flavor. But let's see, hav salt. You may or may not know this. I am vegan, but I am making an exception for this exchange. Because the vegan stuff kind of, it can be hard to find. I'm going to try them because I want to get the full experience. So I'm going to open these. I'm really hungry too. So like everything I try to can see in this box, I'm like, give me it. Oh, they smell so good. It's not going to, ooh, I don't want to turn this into an eating video, but I kind of really want to. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. They're like sour cream and onion. But they're very subtle. And I like that. Oh my god, I'm gonna eat this whole bag. Lisa, thank you so much. These are really good. I don't know what any of this means, but mmm. European chocolate is my favorite. Like, they make the best. Germany, Belgium, Norway, like, they have the secrets. This is Melkis Schokolade. I know the German word is Schokolade. There it is. Mmm. Yes. I love chocolate. I am like have the munchies so bad lately. So this is like the perfect timing. Quick, quick lunch, lunch, quick, quick lunch, like quick lunch, I guess. It's by Freya. Jax, Jax so Schokolade. I think that's what that means. And again, it's another product from them. She says it's like, it's kind of similar to a Kit Kat, which I love Kit Kats, so this is perfect. Let's do a little taste test. Wow. Turn this into, and they, look, they make it so easy to open their packaging. Do you see this? Like in America, you gotta rip it or you gotta pop it open. Just, just peel it back and boom. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm, it's so good. Ooh. These are, it looks like soft licorice. Now, I haven't had licorice in a long time. American licorice is really tricky. It's kind of, kind of gross, but sometimes I like it. It's weird. And then, let's see, another, another type of licorice, which is this Turkish licorice. Turkish piba. Let's give these a try. I'm excited. I can't wait to eat more of those chips. I love, I love chips. Ooh, they smell really good. These are like soft licorice. That's different. Hmm. Hmm. These are really good, actually. I kind of just like ripped the bag open, but definitely better than the American licorice. I can tell you that much. Lisa, I'm coming to move in with you because you have the best snacks. This is just so delicate. You gotta chew it a little bit once you get going. This is by Englemark. La Creed. La Creed, is that how you say And this just may be vegan. I don't know. I can't read the ingredients. I know it's mostly sugar, but at this point, I don't care. She said, the coast I live on, the Helgoland coast, which is so weird because I think I have a video on my channel, but I've been to Helgoland in Germany. I, d I doubt it's the same place. Oh, the Helgoland coast. So that could be the same area. Full of troll mountains. There are myths around them about how they came to be. Basically, the trolls of Helgoland threw a party and there was romance and drama involved. So they lost track of time and the sun came up, so they turned to stone. That is really cute. Where is this troll? Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, it is a magnet! Oh my god! She's funny. Magnets are really cool. Can you go? Oh, here. That is so cute! And his name is Norg! Oh my god. I love, I love like hobbits and trolls and fairies. So this is amazing. Oh, he is so cute. And he's gonna look amazing on my fridge. And it's painted by hand too. That is really cute. Original Nord souvenir. I love it. A little piece of piece of the trolls. Oh! Oh! I have a cute little Viking ship candle holder. Fun fact. The famous Viking Harold Fairhair is my 76th great grandpa or something like that. That is freaking awesome. I love, and that's another fun fact. I love ancestry. If you guys watch my channel, you know, like, I'm really into that. So that is really cool to know that. Um, I do, I don't 
think I'm Norwegian, but I'm like Scandinavian or something. So that is really cool. Most of Europe is related to him, so it's nothing to boast about, really. But it is. It is, Lisa. Just just own it, girl. Just own it. There's a famous Viking ship called Oseberg. It's built in the year 820. It was 20, 21 and a half meters long, 5 meters broad. In the year 1830... 18, wow. 834, the Vikings put it on the Oseberg Hill. It was dug up again in 1904 and taken to the Viking ship house in 1926. The ship was built for both sailing and rowing. The neatest little thing. I love, like, Viking, like, I, stuff like, I don't know, I don't want to say primitive, but, you know, like, this is going to go on my altar for sure. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can see it. And there's a little tea light in there. And I love lighting tea lights, so thank you so much. That is really cool. And I love the little... Again, it won't show up on camera, but the like the little designs and stuff on there is really neat. And it's very heavy. Like it's it's got a little weight to it, so you know it's legit. This is a Peer Gint music box. And the song is Morgan Stemming, which means more morning mood. By Henrik Ibsen and Edvard Grieg. It's one of the most famous plays in Norway. And it's still played all over the world. Yes, I've, I've, I've heard this a ton of times. Like, you know in the movies when they're like waking up and then they play this song and it's like the flute's playing and the birds are singing. That is really beautiful. This is so like delicate and, and sweet. Like, you don't see these anymore. Like, this is really nostalgic and cool. Morgan Stemming. Really cool. And she found this body, this vegan body butter. And it's not Norwegian, but she she thought of me. Thank you, Lisa. And she put it in one of these, these plastic bags because she was afraid it was going to explode. Which I feel you, girl. Because you don't know how those people handle it. And you know when you go on an airplane, they're like throwing your suitcase across the freaking tarmac. <laughs> But yes, this is, I don't know why I'm doing like ASMR. This is vanilla body butter, and I bet it's going to smell amazing. Love yourself for less. I like that. So this is it. Let's break it open. Oh, it isn't like, it's like perfect. It's like not schmutzed up at all. Oh my god. Mmm, that is, smells good enough to eat. I'm not, well I probably could if it's from like Europe it's probably safe oh that's it smells like legit like cake mix or something like like it doesn't smell fake and it kind of smells fresh too I'll definitely be using this thank you very much there's a couple more things in here oh there's a little puffin arctic animals travel puzzle this is really cute I actually really like puzzles when I finish this I will take a picture of it oh this, I don't know how it'll pick up on camera, but it's like moose, moose, mises. It's like, like a holographic kind of thing. Oh, oh, here's a cool card I found at the Science Museum in Tromso, Tromso, mooses, oh, mooses, yeah, I, I don't know how, I don't know if it's mooses, mises, mises are pretty common in Norway and you can see danger signs by the road all over Norway's roads because they have patterns they walk in which often cross the road sadly many are run over each year we especially where I live deer is like I am very careful you know I know that they're out there like we're we're in their territory like I know to take my time but there are people who don't and it is sad it really is but oh my gosh I love I love any kind of, I love it, all animals, let's face it, but this is really sweet. Like, look at the baby moose. Can you see the baby moose, mises, mooses? They're kind of just like puppies. I don't know, like they're floppy ears. <laughs> that is really cute. Oh my gosh, yes! Oh! Oh, there's a note in this one, okay. I don't want to rip it. Please don't rip. This is a postcard. These two ladies are wearing a festive dress called Nordland's Bunad. Nordland is the region we're living in, means Northlands. The bunad comes for men as well. I don't have a picture, but it looks really old-fashioned with knee-high stockings and a hat. Kind of like, I wear like the lederhosen, lederhosen. I have a pair of those. Um, they're just like a Halloween costume. They're not legit, but they're really cute, and I love them. Mostly girls have bunads these days, 
and most of them receive it for their confirmation like I did. Mine is green. Oh my gosh! That they are really pretty. I know, like in Germany, it's a is it a dir, a, a dirndl, dirndl or something like that. The ladies in the picture own a small cafe near where I live on an island called Gronoi. Gronoi means Green Island. Gronoi, Gronoi, yeah. It's in the charming old house with floors so old you can actually you actually have to take your shoes up before you go. And I love that. That sounds really cool. I think I'd really like that. So that's these ladies. They own the cafe. If I ever come over there, we're going there. I'd really love to see that. Ooh, that's pretty. This postcard has the green island pine tree on it. Or the Gronoif. I don't know how to say that. Just a regular pine tree, but somehow it got famous enough to be pictured on our matchboxes. Recently, someone went ahead and... S oh, they saw it down the tree. People on Gronoi were heartbroken, so they got some funds and raised it again on some sort of foot or whatever. Sadly, this won't save the tree, but only postpone it. That does break my heart, because I am so connected to nature. Love and respect your Mother Earth. Earth Day! I have a tree on my shirt. Oh, the Northern Lights. I'm definitely coming to visit you, Lisa, because I've been wanting to see the Northern Lights. My mom and I have been talking about it. I keep seeing articles about it. And, like, here where we live, you don't see it. You could go to Canada and probably see it. And this is uh, Melshorn Vanderhorn, MF. The, these are two fa uh, favorite fairies to work at. I'm either on deck. Oh, she's on the fairies. That is so cool. I I need to come ride. I mean, I get seasick a little bit, but I think I could handle a ferry ride. Especially over there, I don't think it's too crazy. Thank you so much again, Lisa, for sending me this stuff. I am so ecstatic. Like, everything was so perfect. And I'm so glad that we got to do this exchange and share each other's cultures and just really connect in this kind of way. And I do think that we really see the world. You know, we're on the same level and we see the beauty in it and all these things are so beautiful and I, they just made me so happy and I'm so glad that you sent them and, and you really put your heart into this because I know you did. For those of you who are watching this video, please check out her channel and subscribe. She's amazing. She's such a, like, she's so real. She's so legit and like her content, she puts out gaming videos. She puts out lifestyle, advice, different things like she has something for everybody, so you could definitely relate to her. So thank you so much for watching. Check the link out to her video. You can see what I sent her, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, this swap. I really did. I'm so happy, and I can't wait to eat more of these chips and the candy and the, oh my gosh, everything. I can't wait to wear the socks and the mittens, and I'm just... I'm blessed. I'm so blessed. Thank you, Lisa, and thank you, everybody, for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day. Love you guys. Bye.